All right, y'all, I'm here to give you your daily Bible readings from the book of Acts chapter 10 tonight, and it's a long chapter, and I'm going to do a little bit of redneck rant first. I just did a video for the monthly Bible giveaway. I kept forgetting every day. It's like a week or 10 days past due. And I kept forgetting about it, and I just now remembered when I was getting ready to do your daily Bible reading, and so I just decided to go ahead and do a video for it. And that video is uploading right now, and I'm going to give away two Bibles, just like the ones I've been giving away, just like the one I use reading to y'all and for a lot of my studies every day. It's a nice Bible. Two people going to be happy. And the rest of you, wait till next month. Try again. If you really need a Bible, if yours is ragged or you don't have one, let me know and I'll see what I can do to get you one because I want everybody to have a decent Bible. But if you got one, even if it's like this old ragged thing here, or even like the one that I keep in my truck, it's still usable, so keep keep using it. But if it's just absolutely falling apart, like one person said that her Bible was duct taped together and there's parts that she needed to tape that she couldn't get duct tape into, so I got her a new Bible. And she... She played the contest every month, but she was never the first person with the correct answer, and so she wasn't a winner. But when she told me the condition of her Bible and her real need for one, I gave her one. So if y'all are in that condition, let me know, and I'll do what I can for you. If I can do anything. Some, some months I can't do anything. I told y'all earlier today I was going to make homemade salsa, home do home canning. Well, I got the tomatoes washed, and it, that's a lot of tomatoes, y'all. Goodness gracious alive. And in my big, big, tall stock pot, and I boiled them, I, I slitted Put an X on the bottom of all of them with a knife, and then I boiled them. And then I had a friend that was in town running some errands, and I asked her if she'd mind buying me a bag of ice and bringing it so I didn't have to get out, so she did. And so I, I've got them blanched. And then I went, well, while they were boiling, I went in and started doing some computer work, some research, and then and I'd come back and check them every now and then, you know, to see if they were boiling yet, and when they finally started boiling, I, I let them boil just for a minute or two, and then I turned the fire off and put the ice in and went and did some more research while they cooled off. And I forgot that they were in here. And so I lost three or four hours today with them sitting on the stove ready for the next step. I, I totally forgot about making salsa. And so guess what I'm going to be doing after I read the Bible to you? Because i got to get it finished. You know, when you start something like that, you got to finish it. And I was thinking about going to bed. And then I, I remembered I got a big project started, so I got to finish it. Got my trash taken out to the alley for pickup before sunup tomorrow. Got a lot of research done today, and that was good. A lot of Bible reading and research and so forth. 
I, well, I hate to say anything. I just, that new Bible that was given to me, I, I'm just having a hard time with it. It's got some excellent, oh, that's dirty. It's got some excellent stuff in it. But I haven't figured out how to use it yet. I gotta spend more time in it. Right now I'm just doing research the way I'm familiar with. But let me stop my rambling. I, I got my points across that I want to make. Acts <clears throat> chapter 10, and that's a long chapter, 48 verses. I think I said 59. It's not. It's 48. But it's on one, two, three, four columns. There was a man, there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared God with all his house which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw a vision ev evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming in to him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. He lodgeth with one Simon, a tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. And when the angel which spake unto Cornelius was departed, he called two of his household servants and a devout soldier of them that waited on him continually. And when he had declared all these things unto them, he sent them to Joppa. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up on the housetop to pray about the sixth hour, and he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven opened and a certain vessel descending unto him as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill, and eat. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. And the voice spake unto him again a second time, What God hath cleansed, that called not thou common. This was done thrice, and the vessel was received up again into heaven. Now while Peter doubted in himself what this vision which he had seen should mean, behold, the men which were sent from Cornelius had made inquiry for Simon's house and stood before the gate, and called and asked whether Simon, which was surnamed Peter, were lodged there. While Peter thought on the vision, the Spirit said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. Arise, therefore, and get thee down, and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Then Peter went down to the men which were sent unto him from Cornelius, and said, Behold, I am he whom ye seek. What is the cause wherefore ye are come? And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, and one that feareth God, and of good report among all the nation of the Jews, was warned from God by a holy angel 
to send for thee into his house and to hear words of thee. Then called he them in and lodged them. And on the morrow, Peter went away with them and certain brethren from Joppa accompanied him. And the morrow after they entered into Caesarea and Cornelius waited for them and had called together his kinsmen and near friends. And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshiped him. But Peter took him up saying, stand up. I myself also am a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many that were come together. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. But God hath showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Therefore came I unto you without gainsaying, as soon as I was sent for. I ask therefore for what intent ye have sent for me. And Cornelius said, Four days ago I was fasting until this hour, and at the ninth hour I prayed in my house, and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing, and said, Cornelius, Thy prayer is heard, and thine alms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa, and call hither Simon, whose name is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tanner by the seaside, who, when he cometh, shall speak unto thee. Immediately, therefore, I sent to thee, and thou hast well done that thou art come. Now therefore <clears throat> are we all here present before God to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word, I say, ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him and we are witnesses of all things which he doth which he both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem whom they slew and hanged on a tree him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before God, even to us whom did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of the quick and dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them all which heard the word. And they were of the circumcision which believed were astonished as many as came with Peter because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they, hear, for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, 
Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. All right, y'all, that was Acts chapter 10. That was some good stuff. Right, now y'all run over and hurry up and enter the contest to win a Bible. If you're not already too late. That video's been up before this one, so hopefully you already are the winner. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. Y'all, I know you pray for me. I need prayer right now because i got to finish my salsa. And I basically hadn't even started. <laughs> oh, but I, I did just enough that I can't stop now. I got the tomatoes started. I can't stop. I got to get them peeled and chopped up and the onions chopped up and the jalapenos and habaneros chopped up and the garlic minced and the cilantro chopped up and then I got to can it all. So I'm going to be busy for three or four hours. And I got pain plumb out the roof. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. But... That's too much money invested to throw it away. I can't. I got to do it. No more for me on here tonight, though. I'm done on here. Let me get this video uploaded. and I'll be busy over yonder and over yonder. And probably right here doing the chopping up of the peppers and garlic and onion and cilantro. Wish y'all was here to sample it with me later. It's going to be good. But it's, it's better four or five days later after the cilantro and all that stuff. You know, after all the different flavors kind of mix in together. Mm-mm-mm, -mm, y'all, it gets good then. I used to don't eat it right away because I, I like to taste all of the ingredients. Anyway, I, I could sit here and ramble all night. Y'all know that. I tell you all the time. I love you, and y'all are getting prayed for. Y'all pray for me too, please. God bless you all.